the detail in these rocks is just absolutely amazing. Details, textures, patterns, colours, you name it. Just this one rock right here, it's got so much potential for images. Today, we're shooting abstracts. What's the difference? So good morning and welcome to another video. And welcome back to Cape and Rage in the beautiful Bay of Fundy. I say welcome back because this is one of my favourite locations for shooting abstract patterns in rocks. Like I mentioned in the intro, patterns, textures, details, colours. Unbelievable. In just a short area. Cars are only a couple of hundred yards away. And I'm getting some amazing abstract images. If you follow my channel at all, you'll know that I love this type of photography. I'm kind of attracted to the abstract, whether it be ICM, intimate details in the landscape. I much prefer that type of photography than large vistas and scenes, uh, although those are nice too. But this is what I'm attracted to, uh, and for good reason. But in today's video, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I recently discovered processing technique which can really bring out the patterns and colours and details uh, in the rocks. Just getting creative with your camera. Here's the type of shot I would typically shoot in a location like this. Put one on the screen now, processed as normal, just enhancing the colours and saturations, shadows, that type of stuff. Have a look at the image now. And now I'm going to put the same image on the screen where I get a little bit creative in the processing. What do you think guys? Take a look. Maybe not for everybody's taste, but I'm sure you'll agree it's something totally different, something unique and something that's given my rock photography a whole new perspective. And I've got kind of addicted to it to be honest. So if you're into shooting abstracts at all, kick it up a notch. Shoot abstracts like a pro. So I'm also shooting with my smartphone today guys. The reason being, that's the Show Me 13T smartphone with a camera system co-engineered by Leica. And it's got a 50 megapixel camera. And uh, that's what I'm looking at. Look at the textures and details in those rocks here. And also the colors, um, absolutely insane. Uh, this place never ceases to amaze me, the amount of photographic opportunities. Uh, so, just for the sake of it, I'm going to shoot off a few images here with the smartphone and compare them to the Fujifilm X-T30. And we'll just, just for fun, just to see what they're like. Uh, I've got a funny feeling the show me is going to be right up there. Um, some of the photographs, some of the rocks that I photographed a bit further back, um, I took a whole bunch focusing on different areas and I'm going to attempt to focus stack them and see if I can really get that killer shot. Conditions are just about perfect this morning. A little bit more light would have been, would have been awesome, but we've got 
grey, overcast, foggy, misty conditions, uh, which is creating like a big softbox, if you like, a big nature softbox, which is ideal for this type of photography. It's much easier to get the details and colours showing through when the conditions are like this. So uh, yeah, I've got the 10 second timer on there and I'll, I'm just going to fire off a shot and uh, we'll see if it's any good. If it is good, it'll be on the screen and then there'll be a processed version in the gallery at the end. Stay tuned for that gallery coming up. So I moved just a little bit closer. There's this rock here. Uh, beautiful textures again, the colours, sort of sandstone colour. Um, with you can, you can see the markings there, what I'm trying to describe. And it looks fantastic. So I've moved closer. Uh, I'll just show you from what you can see in the back of the phone here, uh, the composition I've got framed up. And then uh, I've got a five second timer on there just to avoid any vibrations and we'll fire off the shot. As I say, it's set to uh, 50 megapixels and uh, if it's any good, it's on the screen. So I moved even closer again, guys. Again, using the Show Me. Uh, there's a feature on there in the camera where I can adjust the tonality and the textures and I've done that for this real close-up shot there. Again, any good, it's on the screen. And then I'll put the process version in the gallery at the end, uh, so stay tuned for that. It'll be a mixture of Fujifilm images and the Show Me images, just for, for fun guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, which images do you prefer? The Fujifilm or the Show Me? So guys, I've been down here for about three hours now, having a lot of fun photographing patterns, textures, details in the rocks. Absolutely amazing, and like I said, this place never ceases to amaze me. Uh, photographic opportunities are everywhere. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be using the Fujifilm anymore today. The reason being, I've put the camera down without the lens cap on, and I've took a chunk out of the glass with a rock or something. It's something I've done a thousand times before, placing the camera down uh, and never had an issue, but somewhere along the line today, I've put a chunk in the glass. Uh, so very disappointing, stupidity on my part, I guess, carelessness, uh, lesson learned, I guess. But I do have this, I do have the Show Me 13T with its 50 megapixel Leica camera. Uh, so I'm gonna to continue to take some shots and as I make my way back to the car. Uh, I'll end the video here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the B-roll from the area. Maybe you'll appreciate just how fantastic this area is for this type of uh, photography. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the images. Stay tuned for the gallery coming up. Going to be some amazing images in there. If you like this type of photography, kick it up a notch guys, shoot like a pro, get creative with your processing. The technique that I mentioned earlier is inverting the colours and I've done that in quite a few images uh, at home and I'm going to do it with these. So I'll put the regular image up with an inverted image up just to let you see the difference uh, and see what you think. Let me know in the comments which you prefer, the regular shot, the inverted shots, the Fujifilm shots, or the show me shots. Uh, so yeah, 
stay tuned for the gallery coming right up guys don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching cheers for now and i will see you in the next one